journalists are forced to report at gunpoint. Yes, sir. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. On Saturday, Turkish police fired tear gas and rubber bullets to disperse protesters who'd gathered outside the newspaper's office after the takeover. Evet kapımız şu anda İpek Meydanı kapısı. İpek Meydanı kapısı şu anda kırılarak kırılarak söküldü sevgili seyirciler. Why you have gone to war with the press in your country? What was the point of it? Erdogan's relentless crackdown on Turkey's critical media has continued. Jim Hurriyet's top editor, John Dundar, survived an assassination attempt. Hours later, he was sentenced to more than five years in prison for spying. This came after Erdogan threatened him on live TV. O bu haberi özel haber olarak yapan kişi de öyle zannediyorum ki bunun bedelini ağır ödeyecek. Öyle bırakma onu. Erdogan's crackdown on the media is not only within Turkey. He also goes after critics abroad. At a Washington think tank, his entourage physically removed a critical journalist, where Erdogan was scheduled to speak. According to the world's leading press advocacy groups, Turkey's ranking on press freedom indexes has plummeted in the past few years. For Freedom House, Turkey's press is not free. Reporters Without Borders ranked Turkey 151st out of 180 countries, ranking worse than Russia, Burma, Afghanistan, and Algeria. Let us take a look at some of the alarming numbers. 38,871 individuals jailed. Imagine all the population of the city-state of Monaco behind bars. 6,337 academics fired, which is more than all the teaching staff of Stanford and Yale combined. 115,094 public servants purged. This is tantamount to all government officials of Bulgaria. 79,488 individuals detained, which is the total number of detainees in 16 European countries, including Germany, UK, and France. 4,034 judges and prosecutors dismissed. In other words, the total number of judges in England and Wales multiplied by four. 10,000 journalists lost their jobs, which is no less than two-thirds of all journalists in Finland. 145 journalists behind bars. A figure unrivaled by even germophobic China, Iran, and Egypt combined. 41,667 teachers dismissed like Ireland showing the door to her 80% of public schools teachers. 195 media outlets shut down. Feels like all Danish press shut down in a dystopian future. Yalvarıyorum diyorum. Çok mu 
çok zor. Ne olur yalvarıyorum bana. En kısa sürede mesela yarın yani dünyanın en mutlu insanı yaparlar. Lütfen gece yattıklarında başını bildanılar. Yastığa rahat koyabiliyorlar mı? Tekrar sesleniyorum. Ölümüme imza atıyorlar. Yalvarıyorum.